So it's been a hot minute since I made a podcast. I think it's like two or three weeks, but wanted to give like my recap of 2020, give you some motivation, give you some insight, and really set the tone for how 2021 is going to be. Uh, I found myself during the podcast getting back to my old ways. You know, I like to swear a little bit. I, I, it's just me and that's who I am. But really wanted to like set the tone for what I learned in 2020, some life lessons, some important things that can hopefully help you and then get you in order and in gear to kick ass in 2021 because things are going to be tough. It's not going to get, it's going to get a hell of a lot worse before it gets better. But if you recognize that and you know that it's going to happen, you can prepare and set yourself up for success and an opportunity to really grow, not just as a business, but as a person and as a healthcare provider. So this is the last podcast of 2020. I go in the show a little bit more about the focus going forward, what's going to happen, and just equip you with some good knowledge and something to think about. So I hope you enjoy the show and I'll see you in the beginning of next year. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Soft Tissue Revolution Podcast. I'm Dr. Matt Maggio. Thanks for stopping by and listening. Uh, I've taken a few weeks off to uh, take a break from the podcast. Uh, a lot of big things happening behind the scenes. Uh, getting ready to open up a really big clinic here in Des Moines, Iowa. Um, one thing about me that I think is different from everyone else out there coaching and training and self-proclaimed gurus is I'm still in the shit. I'm still in it. I'm still running clinics. I'm still getting out there. I'm getting my hands on people. I'm learning. I'm interpreting data, trying to make this better across the board. And I'm coaching people in my system, the peak method. You know, I've talked about this before, but it truly is the only system out there that teaches massage therapists how to easily double their income without working any harder and get taken seriously as a healthcare provider and become a solutions provider. And we're having some really good luck, not luck. We're just having really good results with people in our beta group, getting them to think critically, figure out problems and be taken taken seriously. So put a lot of effort into that. And like I said, I'm doing the real shit and I'm out there. So sometimes I don't have as much time, but this podcast is really important to me. And as I said in the intro, I want to get into what I learned this year in 2020. We all know that like I've never lived a year like this in my entire 35 year existence. And I'm sure a lot of you haven't either. It's like, there's just some fucking crazy shit going on. A lot of it isn't in our control, but unfortunately we got to deal with it. And that's just what it is. So I took some time over these last couple of weeks as I was getting ready to, you know, revamp a new clinic here, coaching some people and learning. And a funny thing happened. Um, I moved into a new house and I didn't have internet for like, two weeks and I actually had a lot of clarity and freedom. It allowed me to reflect more and have more time to just really think about the things that are important. So I went through and basically just came up with my three lessons for 2020. And I broke them down into a personal one, a business one, and then just basically human nature. So I wanted to share this with you. Um, you know, a lot of these podcasts are very tactical give you a lot of information. Sometimes I overwhelm people with the information because I'm looking at it from 10,000 different angles. And just a little note here, uh, going forward, uh, the content's gonna be a little different uh, in 2020. I'm gonna do a dedicated two podcasts a week. Uh, the one that drops on Sundays is going to be straight up just treatment, questions about treatment, evaluations, diagnosis, anything across the board because that's where people come to me for the most help. A lot of people are like, I don't want to really hear about the marketing and sales side of that yet because they just want to learn more about the treatment. So the market has spoke and that's what we're going to be doing that. And then on Thursdays, I'm going to share some stuff on some marketing, uh, some sales ideas, some motivation and some communication because that's really important as well. And I don't want to take away from that. But the thing is, you got to get a really good product and you got to become that solutions provider as opposed to a service provider. So that's what I'm really going to be focusing on. So 2020. Yeah. COVID, elections, civil unrest, social unrest. There's a lot of shit going on, a lot of noise, and there's a lot of pressure and noise. 
So what did I learn and what did I see? So personally, I learned this, that my own health is my number one priority. You know, I heard this quote from Paul Check a couple, like I think beginning of the year with this idea that sooner or later your health is going to become your number one priority. And that's why people are freaking the fuck out right now during COVID. And this isn't a conspiracy theory podcast or anything like that. It's because people didn't take care of their health. They got overweight. They didn't exercise. They didn't get their mind right. And it's kicking the shit out of them. And COVID is scary as fuck because their health isn't right. The number one thing, especially us as body workers, we need our health to be optimal and we have to take care of ourselves first. My favorite mantra is that lions eat first. And you have to think of all the people that depend on you, all your clients, your family, your kids, whoever else. They need you to be at your best. And if your health isn't at the best, you can't do that. And I say this as someone who used to be a fat fuck. I used to be 80 pounds heavier than where I was. I was depressed. I drank. I did drugs. I did all sorts of stuff to try to numb my mind out. And I would have been scared fucking shitless if, if I was there now. But you know what? I made my health and my priority, my number one priority. And it just put me in such a better place. And you have to be in control of your health. You can't like look for someone else to come save you and fix your problem. You have to be in control of it. It has to be your number one priority. And my number one priority is making sure that I'm healthy. I have a goal for myself that I want to live a healthy life until the age of 95. And I think about that as I go through every decision that I make. I'm like, is this going to help me when I'm older? Am I eating right? Am I meditating? Am I walking? Am I breathing? Am I drinking water? Am I doing the shit that I need to do? Because the hard part for us is our bodies are what helps us generate money and generate income. And if we're fucked up, our neck hurts, our back hurts, we don't get care, we don't do treatment, we're not going to be able to earn a living anymore. So make your health your number one priority because a lot of other people in this country and around the world didn't. And that's why they're shitting their pants about COVID. Number two, business. Uh, I do a lot of reading and reflections in the ancient world of stoicism. Um, I have it all over my left arm, tattooed, all sorts of reminders and things like that. But the basic premise of stoicism is you aren't in control of what happens, but you are in control of how you think and how you act. Let that set in. You don't control what happens. You don't control that COVID hit. You don't control that the uh, economy is shit. You don't control that some dick wagon that sitting in some office was like, well, you know, massage therapy isn't essential. You don't control that. You got to find a different way to do that. And when you let go of that and understand like all the shit that happens to you doesn't matter. But what you can control is how you interpret that data, how you interpret those thoughts and how you act. That's all you're in control of. And when you think about that, it's kind of scary, but it's also very liberating because it's like, I can't control what happens. I can't control if the economy goes to shit. But you know what I can can control is how I prepare, how I show up, how I get my message out there. You are in control of that and you don't have to be a victim. And so many people are happy being a victim. They're like, oh, the government shut me down. I don't have any money. Woe is me. Go back and listen to the podcast where I talked about why you should just quit. And a lot of people should revisit that. Because it's going to get hard. It's going to get tough. But you are in control of your actions, excuse me, and your thoughts from where you go. Last one, human nature. People. People are weird. People are fucked up. We're these weird ape-like creatures that are in a social environment. And my favorite book of all time, and I talk about this all the time, is The Laws of Human Nature. It's about as big as the Bible, but... It is an amazing, amazing book that can really help you understand why people do the things they do, why you do the things you do, why you're envious, why you're irrational, why you're fearful, why you're short-sighted. Go listen to that book. Go read it. I've read it like 10 times and I'm still learning stuff every day because human nature isn't going to change. All this shit that's happening now has been happening since the beginning of time. Pandemics, viruses, economy, Social unjust, unrest, all that has all been happening. But if we don't learn from history, it doesn't matter what we do. So that's the thing is like make your health your number one priority. Get up. Get fucking moving. Don't eat shit. Don't eat garbage. And don't put garbage into your mind. Don't watch the news. Don't do all this shit. It just fucks with you. 
In your business, you are in control of your business. Even if they shut you down, there's other things that you can do. There's things that you can adapt and I've been sharing that over this last six months about how to COVID proof your business, how to change it, how to become a solutions provider. And I'm teaching and coaching people how to do this all day long, but you have to want it. You have to understand that. You can't keep doing the things that you were doing because it's not gonna work anymore and the, the industry is dying. Like you might not wanna hear that, but traditional massage is dead. It's not gonna to continue to grow because if you're considered something that's non-essential, people aren't gonna spend money on it. The economy's gonna get worse. I talk about this all the time. I haven't been wrong on it at all. I hate that I'm right about it because it does fucking suck <clears throat> when you think about it. But it's like, don't you wanna know? Don't you wanna take action? And lastly, people are going to be people. You have to understand that. When you can truly understand people from a human nature thing and you can start to cultivate empathy and understanding, one of my favorite quotes of all time is by Marcus Aurelius, who's the, my favorite Stoic philosopher of all time. He goes, you know, be strict with yourself, but lenient with others. And we do this all the time is like, hold yourself to a different standard than everyone else. Everyone else wants to be mediocre. They want to make excuses. They want to be a fucking victim. And it's just not going to work. Like nobody cares. Nobody cares about your situation. They don't care because they're all going through it too. But the people that are going to survive and they're going to crush it are the ones that understand you can do things differently. You can evolve and there is opportunity from all of this. So that's my end of the year reflection. I got a little choice with my language, but I'm fired up. You know, I haven't done this podcast in a couple of weeks and I just wanted to get something out there. We're going to resume back to our normal podcasting um, beginning of the year. So look out for that. Join my Facebook group. Reach out for help. We're running people through our program right now and they're having really great success because they made the commitment and they made the decision that they got to change some stuff. What they did was they're changing what they do. They're changing their actions and they're going to be put in a much better place in 2021 because the shit's going to get rough. It's not going to be easy and it's not going to be for everybody, but there's still people out there that need you. They're in pain. They need your care. They want to give you money, but you have to be able to Give them what they need. So hope you guys are surviving. I hope you're doing well. I hope this just kind of hits you where it needs to hit you and understand that you got to make some more priorities in your life. Things have to change because what do you expect to change if you don't change anything? So I will see you guys in 2021. Appreciate everyone this year, the support that we've gotten. The group has grown, people reaching out giving me the motivation to continue to do this because I am busy. I'm a busy man. I got a lot going on, but I want to share this with other people because I want people to get access to the best hands-on soft tissue treatment in the world so they don't end up in a surgeon's office, on pain pills, injections, and even dead. That's real. That's real shit for me. And we have a duty and obligation to try to get this care to as many people as possible. So take some action. Action always beats anxiety. And lastly, if you know any massage therapists that are looking to change their perspective, change how they do things and want to learn a new way to actually be taken serious as a solutions provider and a healthcare provider, and they live in Iowa in the greater Des Moines area, have them reach out to me. I'm looking to bring on two or three massage therapists in the next couple of weeks to really ramp this up and get this to the next level. And if you just want some help, Reach out as well. We've got a few spots left. I'm only taking on a few more people, but I'm always here to help. So appreciate you guys, and I will see you in 2021. Bye. Thanks so much for listening to the show. If you're a massage therapist and you want to learn more about our new methods that allow you to easily double your income without working any harder or getting burnout, we have some free resources for you. One, join our Facebook group, The Soft Tissue Revolution. Two, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Three, request our free training series. Four, Leave us a five-star review and share this podcast with anyone else you know it can help. Links to all our channels and free training are in the show notes.